machine is quite a miraculous little machine. It really is. Um, for it's anybody out miracle. there that has memories on maybe a VHS tape or whatever it is, in any format, doesn't matter, and you want to turn that into a digital format, put right. that onto a DVD or a, a CD disc type type um, recording recordable device, you can sure. do that using Protus. It's called the Multimedia DVD Recorder. It comes with a bunch of blank discs as well to be able to put it, but it's going to allow you to record to DVD VHS from a VCR. So right. if you have an old VCR, you can you can take all your old VCR movies mm -hmm. and you can put them on there. It also has an AV plug. You can use it with USB or SD cards, camcorders, digital cameras. There's a little built-in preview screen that shows you what you're doing. Right. But here's the thing. This is the only way to do this because they're no longer making the machines, you know, that, that used to take right. a, that used to take a uh, you know, one format and move it to the other. Protus is the way to go. It's $30 off our price and it's free shipping. A dollar extra if you want to get it for Christmas Eve. I love this. I mean, you could yeah. actually digitize your family memories and then those are the gift that you give for the holiday season. So you can get this. This could be a home-based business for you. We love the Protus. It is that great standalone unit. So what you're going to be able to do with this is you're going to be able to plug in virtually any device with an AV out. This is an amazing brand. Protus is actually manufactured in one of the top uh, consumer electronic factories in the entire world yep. so you can absolutely buy knowing this is extremely well made but guy is right you don't need any other devices with this you just plug in what you're transferring from in this case our VCR we have plugged it right into the Protus we're including the cables and wires for you to be able to do that and you don't even need a TV you don't need a monitor this is no. a standalone solution for you to be able to make digital yeah. all of your great family memories so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you I've got it propped up so you can see you have a disc in there right I have a disc it pops uh -huh. right in here in this bottom tray you get 15 discs this is an exclusive bundle only here at HSN all you do is touch that one record button it is going to record in real time everything that's happening on that screen so again you can walk up to this with a camcorder you could walk up to this with your dash cam you could walk up to this with any device that has AV out so I simply press press go now I'm gonna press stop and this is gonna burn all of that information all of that content that we just watched back onto that disc so it's smart. gonna then pop out out, and then that disc is going to have great compatibility with your DVD players and with your computer. So you can pop that into literally pretty much any device out yeah. there and be able to play back all of your family memories. And then when it's on a disc, you're going to be able to put it on YouTube. You're going to be able to share on Facebook. That's one of my favorite things about this. I've got my great family memories of baby Kenny eating cheese. This is one of guys all time favorites. And now it's on my cell phone. So now I'm going to be able to share those memories. Oh, look, it just popped out. So I'll show you the phone in just a second. This but look, so cool. that disc just popped. So look at this, it is all ready to go. You're gonna be able to put this pr pretty much anywhere and you're gonna be able to play back all those great family memories. But the other thing I want you to know, and this is super important, this will literally go from any format to any format. So if you've plugged in your VCR and you wanna actually put those memories on a USB drive, you can put it on a USB drive instead of a disc. So you smart. can put it on an SD card right. instead of a disc. You can put it on anything. If you have a USB drive and you want all of those family movies or pictures <laughs> or music, whatever it is on here, on an SD card, you can transfer from this format to this format. It is so crazy. And maybe you got picked up on that drone just a minute ago. Yeah. If you want to plug it in or, you know, plug in any of take your the, devices. Take the card out, pop, plug it in here, and make, you can make a DVD? You can make DVD discs. <laughs> so so awesome. you can then see in real time Joe's traumatized cat off, exactly. of, the, off of the yeah. drone. Or so the guests at his party cool. that he was trying to take the tops of their heads off. Yeah. You know what, think about it. So, so cool. if you had that drone and you took, a, and you took um, aerial movies of a wedding, that was on the beach. You could take that card right. out. Right. You could right. put it in the Protus, put it, put a disc in. We give you discs, put it in, and now you have taken that and put that whole wedding aerial photography on a, on a DVD that anybody could pop into any DVD player or any computer and they could watch it like that. Listen, exactly. this is the lowest price DVD burner that we have. It's, it's pretty much the only one that we have left. We used to try we used to try to carry the ones that were made overseas, but they stopped making the VHS heads anymore. Done. It's all so, done. So now all you can do basically do is take your old VCR, and if you don't have a VCR anymore, you can buy them up at the thrift store. They're like 10 bucks. You can still find them. I bought one for five. Yeah, you can find them anywhere. And but you can hurry. Make, yeah, because listen, and I've told Lori this, I have movies of like my dad who's no longer with us, grandparents. I mean, we have those, and they're on VHS. That's yeah. right. Uh, a lot skiing, of the people that we've skiing lost. Skiing when we were little kids. I told crazy? you the story. Right. My father first took our pictures when we were like three and four years old with reel to reel. Wow. So it's like super right, eight, right? right? Eight millimeter film. And he they moved that 
to VHS format because that was the next one that was big in the 80s. And then finally, we had to go and move that because, you know, the, those are tapes, and Laurie sure. will show you. They're made of, uh, of celluloid uh, material. It, 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 it just completely denigrates when it hits the air. That goes bye-bye. It does. Digital lasts pretty much forever. forever. It, well, it does We last say 100 forever. years, but... Well, they say 100 years on a single disc, so right. discs can last that long, but once you've made it digital, once you put it on Facebook, on right. YouTube, once you have it on an SD card, really, it could item. live forever. Isn't hey, that amazing? Hey, Lori. Yes. 9,300 are, are spoken for. Paul, so I think we're going to have to put our left counter up pretty soon because I think I got 700. Oh, yep. That's it. S Paul says 765 left for everybody in the country. I know you probably have a VHS tape out there that even if it's just one, it could be family memories that you want to save. Turn it into a DVD using this. And remember, DVD takes up so much less room. Look at this. This is a little skinny, little tiny right. little DVD, right? Takes up nothing compared to those discs. Well, and, and it's virtually indestructible. Once you put this in a little in a little container, those memories or these memories, and you could tell that was not shot in a digital format. This that's, was shot. that's a move. That, that looks like real to real. Looks it, like eight millimeter. It was eight millimeter. Yeah. And family members prior to us actually converted it from 8mm onto VHS. So the thing is, your family members, past generations, already converted it to one format. Yeah. You need to keep it going because you're right, VHS tapes, they are degrading by the second. Let me show you one thing really quickly and then we're going to talk more about uh, VCR tapes. I love this home video. This is actually over 35 years old. This is my husband when he was a two-year-old baby. We have a two-year-old baby now and he looks just like this. I would have never Hilarious. forgiven myself if I had let this go away. If I had let it degrade to the point where we couldn't watch and enjoy it anymore, I would have never forgiven myself. But look at the produce. Look at what we've done. We have connected this to our television via HDMI. So you've got that HDMI port right here on the side. This is a DVD player. So you can pop in any disc and use this to play DVDs yeah. in 1080p resolution on any of your television sets. So that's incredibly cool too. DVD player, DVD burner, it's your USB burner, it's your SD burner, it does everything. But guys, right, VCRs aren't being made anymore. If you have one up in a closet somewhere get it out now and start digitizing your family memories all of those babies first step tapes you have the thanksgivings the christmases all of those great family holidays the mementos the things that happened in our lives with family members that might not even be with us any longer this may be your last chance to do it guy is right these tapes are degrading and fading by the second this hits air it hits heat and it was only meant to last about 25 years in the first place we are far far past that in most of our families so when you have protus you can make it into that digital file format and then guy mentioned the fact that all of these tapes if you send them off to a company they can cost between 25 and 30 dollars per tape what if they're only half the full counter. what if there's only a little bit of video footage on each one i was able to take all of the video footage on all 10 of these tapes and put them onto a single disc because they weren't all completely full but i don't want to pay 25 or 35 dollars per tape i don't even feel comfortable sending these in the mail i don't want them to be out of my hands. You can do this in your own home. And in my case, I was able to put all of those family memories on a single disc. Then you just put it into your computer. You can play it back from the Protus on your TV. Once it's on your computer though, then you can upload it, put it on Facebook, put it on yeah. YouTube. You saw me watching that video of my husband at two years old on my cell phone. I can watch it on my tablet. We love to torture baby Kenny because he's clearly not lac lactose intolerant, eating no, no, cheese he, and drinking milk. He has a lot of dairy going right. on there. But we he? show those videos all the time. <laughs> and now we're enjoying them. When is the last time you popped in a VHS tape and enjoyed it? It's I probably know. been years, maybe I decades. Have, I've still, I've probably got 40 or 50 of them. All my old demo reels are I on VHS too. tape. Oh, right, right. Uh, they were on beta before that. So there was a, there's a lot of You've levels where it's gone it, to. Yeah. But we're at the digital, we're, we're now digital. This is, this is where we're going to be and where we're at. So if you've got old tapes and movies, in fact, you see right down there under my hand, it says there's 650 left. That's for everybody in the country. We've already gone through almost 10,000 of these are gone, and we, you know we try to we, we we try to bring these things in as often as we can because it is a common problem to everybody. Everybody probably has their old Christmas movies on VHS, exactly. or maybe they have an old reunion or, or a wedding thing, and or maybe it's little Kenny eating cheese right. uh, that you want to <laughs> save. Well, well, guess what? That those memories will go away because that tape eventually just falls apart, right? It's it, it just it, it just disappears. I mean, it's it's paper thin and it it's is. made of a plasticky. It's called it's called cellulose is what it is. That's the kind of materials. Like a plant-based sort of thing, but it, it eventually is going to fall apart. It won't happen that way with digital. So with now only 636 left, 
I suggest you grab yours while you can. What you, can you do? You can turn pretty. You can turn any format into digital. So uh, with either using the AV uh, plugs that we're going to give to you. So if you want uh, to, you know, maybe you've got old tapes in your old um, in your old camcorders, right? And they right. could be yeah, you know, little cartridges, little cassette tapes, whatever it is you, if you need. You have that camcorder. Yeah. You can plug it's it in. Got the mini, the little mini cassettes, right? Right. Yeah. Alice has one, and I can't remember what format she said it was, yeah. but she didn't have a player for it anymore. Everyone had to look at the old memories on the old camcorder on this little tiny screen. You can plug virtually anything with AV out into your Protus. So your old handy cams, your little camcorders, you can plug into this. I plugged in my camera. So you can see the still, the still photographs right here. This will do pictures, it will do videos, it will do music. This will do virtually any format. If I have all of these pictures right here and I wanna put them on an SD card, all I do is pop in right over here on the side, that SD card, and now all of my pictures can go on another SD card. I can put them, burn them onto a disc, I can put them on a USB drive. It is totally up to you. And then let me show you right here. I want you to see the menu. It's so easy. All you're doing is plugging in your source. I actually had to go buy a VCR. It was five dollars. You said it at yeah. the thrift store. Can yeah, because really a lot of people got rid of them, but they're they're you can find them in thrift shops. But I would yeah. hurry because people are going to realize that the heads aren't being manufactured right. anymore, and they're going to start m m marking up VCRs to like five hundred dollars soon. So yeah. or you know really really expensive. So if you have one, grab it, use it to digitize, and then let me show you the menu. So all you're doing in your main Protus menu here is selecting what your source is. So here it's AVN because it's my VCR, but it could be my USB. So if I want it to be the USB drive that's popped right over here into the side and I want to burn it onto a disc, I can do that. Again, I can put all of the memories, whether it's pictures, music, or videos onto the SD card that I popped in. So any format transfers to any format. So I'm going to press record right here. It's going to go to work to start recording for me all of the files. See, it says burning. It's going to tell you when it's done. And if you're burning onto